In the world of anime, not all villains are created equal. Some villains captivate us with their charisma, complexity, and compelling narratives. Whether you love to hate them or hate to love them, the fact you're even thinking about them is kind of a testament to how great they really are. Get ready to wonder if you've got Stockholm Syndrome because we're going to be talking about our top 10 most loved anime villains. Kicking off our list at number 10 is the White Hawk himself, Griffith from Berserk. Griffith is a character who embodies ambition, charisma, and ruthlessness. As the leader of the Band of the Hawk, he showcased exceptional military prowess, leading his comrades to countless victories. However, the dreams of Griffith were grand, and he was willing to sacrifice everything to achieve them, even committing unspeakable acts along the way. It's this morally complex journey that draws fans to him, and despite his deeds, some admire Griffith's unwavering determination and strategic brilliance. Moving on to number 9 is Sukuna from Jujutsu Kaisen. This ancient sorcerer reborn as a vengeful spirit is a character who oozes malevolence and power. When protagonist Itadori Yuji consumes one of Sukuna's cursed fingers, fans eagerly anticipate every appearance of this sinister presence. Sukuna's relentless struggle for control of their shared body and his status as the King of Curses have made him an exhilarating character to watch and I'm sure that his captivating combat scenes and darkly compelling dialogue keep viewers on the edge of their seats. But what truly sets Sukuna apart is this aura of mystery and unpredictability that surrounds him. No one can really anticipate his next move, making each encounter with him a thrilling experience. The genius lies not only in Sukuna's character but in Gege Apatami's masterful execution. Every detail, every nuance adds to the overall appeal of this unforgettable villain. And of course, it's impossible to overlook the undeniable coolness factor that Sukuna exudes. From his demeanor to his powers, he embodies the essence of a captivating villain, truly worthy of the title King of Curses. In a world saturated with villainous cliches, Ryomen Sukuna manages to carve his own path. He's a character who defies expectations, captivating fans with his well-defined simplicity, impactful appearances, aura of mystery, masterful execution, and he's just plain cool. Claiming our number 8 spot is S-Death from Akagami Kill. S-Death is a character who embodies sadistic cruelty, but her complexity makes her all the more intriguing. As the leader of the Jaegers, she takes pleasure in causing pain to those she deems weak. However, despite her malevolent nature, S-Death's kindness towards her subordinates and her surprising moments of vulnerability create a multi-dimensional character. Her captivating presence and exceptional beauty add to her appeal, making her a beloved villain for all fans. Moving on to our number 7 spot is Jalal Fernandez from Fairy Tale. Jalal's journey from a kind-hearted individual to a villain consumed by obsession showcases a character arc that resonates with fans. Forced into slave labor and possessed by dark forces, Jalal's descent into darkness is both tragic and captivating. His eventual redemption arc and return to his former self aligning with Urza make him a character worth rooting for. Claiming the sixth spot is Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z. Vegeta is firstly introduced to the series as a ruthless and prideful warrior, driven by the desire for immortality and vengeance against Frieza for the destruction of his own planet. But what sets Vegeta apart is his remarkable character development. Over the course of the series, he forms meaningful relationships, even becoming a father and joining the ranks of the heroes. All while retaining his big, rather, ultra-ego, grumpy personality and incredible powers. Truly a pure, unadulterated badass. Claiming the fifth spot on our list is Dobby from My Hero Academia. Dobby's allure lies in his enigmatic personality and complex principles. While he may be one of the least understood villains, his appeal is definitely undeniable. Dobby's combination of attractiveness, strong principles, and a true sense of purpose sets him apart from the other villains. Whether he's supporting the ideals of Stain or battling heroes, his character embodies both badassery and vulnerability. Sliding into our number fourth spot are the Six Pads of Pain from Naruto. Pain, composed of six individuals in one body, is a villain who challenges the status quo with his thought-provoking questions about the cycles of hatred and violence. Pain's complex ideology resonates with viewers, and despite his murderous actions, some can't help but think that he was onto something. His character definitely leaves us pondering from the fine line between good and evil. Now moving on to our top three, we've got Dio Brando from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Dio the Vampire is the most iconic antagonist of the series, known for his incredible power and memorable catchphrases. Dio's legacy lives on through the series even after his initial defeat. His menacing presence, power, and unforgettable lines like Konoko Dio Da continue to captivate fans and add a touch of humor to his villainy. Naruto is going to be doubling down on our list as Itachi Uchiha is taking the second spot. Itachi's journey from a seemingly loathsome villain to a universally sympathetic character is a testament to the complexity of his character. After committing unspeakable acts, including the elimination of his entire family, Itachi is true motives are unveiled, transforming him from a malicious monster into a victim of tragic circumstances. Which, if you ask me, takes some exceptional storytelling to be able to shift the character's perception so dramatically. And now moving on to the coveted top spot is Hisoka from Hunter x Hunter. Hisoka's appeal lies in his absolute insanity and unpredictable nature. He's a character who thrives on chaos, manipulation, and the lust for challenging opponents. But what really makes Hisoka shine is his willingness to aid gone freaks. 
albeit for his own selfish reasons. His desire to see Gon grow stronger even if it means battling him someday adds layers of complexity to his character in qualities that you could say has the properties of both rubber and gum. And as a special bonus character, we have Muzan Kibutsuji from Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba. Muzan is renowned for being the first demon and the greatest threat to humanity in the story. In the latest Demon Slayer season, there was an epic finale titled A Connected Bond, Daybreak, and First Light. Muzan's main motive is nothing short of audacious, to achieve true immortality and live forever. To realize this ambition, he conducted relentless experiments, turning people into demons until he found one who could withstand sunlight, their primary weakness. And the final episode of the latest season revealing something huge, with Nezuko the friendly demon actually surviving said sunlight. This revelation hit Muzan so hard that while he was a kid, he transformed into a shirtless adult. And fans, of course, couldn't help but go wild over it. Muzan Kibutsuji, the once hidden villain, is now in the spotlight. He's powerful, clever, and a bit scary, making him one cool anime antagonist. Muzan's name always brings fear and excitement, and fans are eagerly awaiting to see what twists await in his story. And another character that I think deserves an honorable mention as well would be Askeladd from Vinland Saga. Definitely on par with Griffith, he's a character who's both the best and worst aspects of what it means to be a warrior in the world of Vinland Saga. Yeah, sure, he wasn't the best father figure around, but you can't deny how much of an impact he's had as a character in both Thorfinn's personal story arc and the series as a whole. He's crazy, clever, and definitely one of the best. And that's gonna wrap up our video for our top 10 most loved anime villains. These are the villains who have captured our hearts and imagination, each for their unique qualities and character development. But of course, 10 isn't really enough for the best villains of all of anime. So if you think there are some that deserve to be on our list, then be sure to share them in the comment section down below. And who knows, maybe by sharing your favorite villains, you'd introduce someone to their new favorite anime. So that's gonna be it for this video, and if you did like this content, be sure to check out our top 10 most hated anime villains list right here. Again, thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.